It's common knowledge that the Andromeda galaxy will collide with our home galaxy, the Milky Way, within the next 4 billion years. However, a recent study suggests that the two neighboring galaxies might already be linked with one another. How so? You might ask? Let's find out. I'm on the website space.com and this article is titled New Map Created by AI Reveals Hidden Links Between Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxies. Which sounds pretty interesting since they're only supposed to collide in like 4 billion years. So let's read it. A new cosmic map revealed hidden structures connecting galaxies, which could help scientists model a future collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda, our galaxy's nearest neighbor. The map, made with machine learning, may also shed more light on dark matter's influence in the evolution of our universe, participating scientists said in a statement from Pennsylvania State University. As for the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda, which is expected to occur in 4.5 billion years, my mistake, the map charted dark matter filaments that bridge the two galaxies and that may affect the merger, the team said. Dark matter represents roughly 80% of the matter in the universe, but it along with dark energy, is poorly understood. Dark matter is invisible in wavelengths of light, so it can't be seen with telescopes. However, scientists can chart the influence of dark matter's gravity on large cosmic structures such as galaxies. Because dark matter dominates the dynamics of the universe, it basically determines our fate. Study co-author Dong Hui Xiong, sorry if I pronounce that wrong, these names are hard, an associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State, said in the statement, We can ask a computer to evolve the map for billions of years to see what will happen in the, in the local universe, and we can evolve the model back in time to understand the history of our cosmic neighborhood. The researchers built the map using machine learning, a type of artificial intelligence in which computers learn from a testing dataset to make their own decisions about classification. The scientists trained a model using a large set of galaxy simulations called Illustris TNG. The learning set included galaxies similar to our own, the Milky Way, with an aim to better understand what galactic properties best predict the distribution of dark matter. Ironically, it's easier to study the distribution of dark matter much further away from Earth, because it reflects the very distant past, which is much less complex, Jung said. Over time, as the large-scale structure of the universe has grown, the complexity of the universe has increased, so it is inherently harder to make measurements about dark matter locally. Once the model was ready to start classifying information on its own, the researchers showed it real-life data from the Cosmic Flows 3 Galaxy Catalog, which includes the movement and distribution of over 17,000 galaxies within 200 megaparsecs of the Milky Way. One parsec is roughly 3.26 light years, which is about 19.2 trillion miles or 30.9 trillion kilometers. Yeah, that's a lot of distance. With the included data, the model accurately reproduced the local group of galaxies nearby the Milky Way, as well as a known local void that includes empty regions of space nearby, among other structures visible in the map. The map also showed several new filaments that the team plans to study further, including those that connect our galaxy to Andromeda. The map will be even more accurate after NASA's $9.8 billion James Webb Space Telescope, which is expected to launch later this year, sends back data that will allow researchers to see even fainter, faraway galaxies, the researchers said. Having a, local, having a local map of the cosmic web opens up a new chapter of, cosmolo of cosmological study, Young said. 
we can study how the distribution of dark matter relates to other emission data, which will help us understand the nature of dark matter. A paper based on the research was published May 26th in the Astrophysical Journal. The team was led by Seungwook Hong, I'm really sorry if these sound silly, who has dual affiliations with the University of Seoul and the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute. I know the article might have been hard to understand, but what I think the gist of it is that the Milky Way galaxy and the Andromeda galaxy are somewhat connected through a link of dark matter. And if this means that they're indeed both one galaxy, this would defy decades of research and predictions, which would be pretty cool. But otherwise, I don't have much to say about this. I like that these two galaxies might now be considered one. I don't know if that's a possibility, but it would be cool. I know they have a name plan for this galaxy. I forget what it's called, but you can research it. Anyways, that's about all I have for today, and I'll see you in the next video.